good day everyone it's a lot of what to see with you right now on set to give you the tonic of this week which is what time management so before i even go to time management i believe you got my brothers and my sisters you'll be watching our tonics that will be doing these past weeks and i will tell you these tonics are lovely and i believe you to enjoy it um just like last week we talked about purpose i believe you know the content you are carrying I believe you know the content you are carrying because it's when you discover your content that you are going to know your purpose. I believe you know your purpose, why you are here, that particular place you are. I believe you know your purpose. Okay, not to waste much of our time. I would want to give you the tonic of this week, it's time management. Time management. What do you mean by time management? Time management is a act or a process of you exercising, of you strategizing yourself and planning yourself to manage your time. I'm managing your time for your daily activities like a day you're supposed to have a plan a week you have a plan the next seconds what am i doing the next meal what am i doing how do you talk about plan how can you plan yourself how can you manage your time the first thing to do is to plan to manage your time you have to plan you have to plan diligently because there's a bible part that say those that plan diligently they will surely reach ab abundance but those that do it hasty you will receive want at the end of the day if you plan yourself diligently like you plan yourself accordingly you plan yourself okay when i wake up i'm doing this i'm going to class i'm going to work you are not disturbing yourself doing one thing or the other so that is the first thing and number two whenever you plan yourself plan yourself in the lord's way just know that in every plan you are doing the lord is always in it's always there for your plans because you can't just do anything in your own your own will. You have to do it in God's will. I get you. Mean? And again, when you are being time management, there are some things you know this flesh, this flesh I won't like you. This flesh, this our flesh is very lazy. There are some things you want to do that this flesh you say, don't do it again, Jerry. You are you go and sleep. That is being lazy. So if you want to be time management, you don't have to be lazy. You have to work hard because work. Those people that work hard, they will surely bring profit at the end of the day. But those lazy people. Nothing at the end, they do not have a particular thing to achieve. So, I believe with what I've said, you need to plan yourself. Don't just waste your time on going to find house. Plan yourself, okay. And this is it, yeah. This is just into me. When you are planning yourself, maybe you are going to plan your physical life and your academic life, or your, your also life. I don't live in your school. Your also life and your uh, spiritual life. Because when you wake up in the morning, your first thing to do, you have to see the Lord first. It's written in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Seek ye see first the kingdom, kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will be added to it. So you seek him first. You are going to work 7 a.m. or you are going to sleep 7 a.m. You wake up earlier like 5 a.m. or maybe 5.30. You pray to him. Because you have to give your time to God. You have to commit your ways to him. You have to have a secret place. How is your secret place with the Lord? That is my question for you. Are you really, is, are you really parvent in your secret place? Huh? That is my question for you. So with this, I believe you're able to understand how to manage your time and how to plan yourself because your academic and spiritual life has to be balanced. You can't be living spiritual life and be lacking academically. You can't just be academically and be lacking your spiritual life. So I believe what I've said, you have gained something today. And again, sorry. Um, you know what? I believe it's good to plan yourself. If I'm not doing the Lord's work, I'll either be going to my academics or maybe one was it because I believe that is when you have you are free. As I was saying before, it's only when you are idle, when you don't have something to do, that then you have time for the things of this world. Because if you are not busy academically, maybe in your other life or maybe in your spiritual life, you have to be worth busy with something because I don't even want to say it is an idol and the devil the have ends him. So you have to be busy in one way or the other. That will not be half time for the things of this world. And again, with all of what I've said, I believe you'll be able to do one or two things and not manage your time very well. And with all of that, I see an unbeliever. You have to repent now because we don't know when he will come. It's, and his coming is worth very soon. Thank you. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on Divine Gospel Movie Production. Thank you. And we'll meet at that time.